Next, we're traveling 11,000 miles to the forests of Costa Rica to see how extraordinary bond testing rituals between monkeys is amazing the scientific community. These are white-faced capuchins, one of the most successful and most sociable monkey species in this part of Central America. Biologist Kyle Van Atta is part of a research team who studied and logged the behavior of the capuchins here almost continuously for 25 years. Today, he's on the trail of a group of monkeys known as the Flake Troop, and Kyle catches the attention of the alpha male, who they've named Quixote. I love aggressive threat Quixote to me. He is threatening us right now. The monkeys are used to the researchers being around, but Quixote is still keen to show them who's boss. And to make his point, he calls in some backup. You see him looking to Madison. That is what we call a head flag. He looked for and looked back at the threat. It's kind of like a call for help. They pick up on each other's actions, and they'll see uh, a threat approaching the group, and they will team up against the threat for, for the greater good of the entire group. And that's the key to their success. Quixote is joined by Madison, and they start overlording, buddying up to intimidate their foes. This two-headed monster will scare off most rivals. So this behavior we're seeing over here is a social coalition. Uh, we've deemed it overlording. We have two monkeys stacking up on top of each other in a totem pole-like position, and they're threatening. They're both showing their fangs. They're trying to look big and scary and just keep threats and predators away. Kyle and other researchers have spotted this troop acting in an even more extraordinary way. One of the, the biggest findings of this project are the bond testing rituals that we're seeing between individuals. They can include things like a monkey putting its finger in another monkey's eye, maybe up its nose and its mouth. It's crazy, they almost go into like a trance while they do it. We know it takes a certain level of trust and loyalty on the part of the capuchins. This is a dangerous behavior they're engaging in. You know, they have these incredibly sharp long nails that they use in fights with other monkeys. Whenever they saw it, researchers tried to film this mysterious, trance-like behavior. Now they have a theory. They believe these are social rituals invented by the capuchins to reinforce relationships, friendships, and create trust between them. If monkeys can engage in this behavior, it gives them the opportunity to see how they stand socially with this other monkey. It gives them an idea of, will this monkey back me up in a time when I need him? If I'm willing to put myself on the line and accept this dangerous activity from him and he doesn't hurt me, then I know when a real threat comes, he's likely to help me out in that situation. These bond testing rituals haven't been seen in any other animals. After tracking the monkeys for another two hours, Kyle approaches a small clearing and thinks he spots something. It's two other members of the troop, Winnie the Pooh and young Jeezy. It looks like they're performing one of the rituals. There's a large social order in capuchin society. You have a few key central alpha individuals and a lot of lower ranking individuals. The higher ranking individuals need the help of the lower rankers to, to maintain their dominant position. And the lower ranking individuals need the help of the dominant individuals to just survive daily life and to climb the ranks as well. For capuchin monkeys, knowing who you can trust is absolutely essential because they need to work together to find food, to raise each other's babies, and to defend the troop from rival monkeys and predators. The scientists think that the capuchins perform these bond testing rituals because they have a greater need to test their friendship than most other species. Their friendships and teamwork are critical to their survival, making them one of the most socially cooperative primates on the planet. <laughs> 